I woke up in the middle of the night nine years ago with an idea of make a uterus because my residents weren't getting enough surgical experience. A dream, a cardboard box, and a wooden pair. That's how the first full body, high fidelity surgical simulator was born. Known as Chloe, the simulator is an anatomically correct replica of a human woman created to train medical students. So she can do important things such as drills in the operating room that can't be done with real patients. Not only looking real on the outside, inside, Chloe has a circulatory system complete with lung sounds and a heartbeat. Chloe is so realistic with one wrong snip, she even bleeds. Though Chloe's not quite human, she provides comfort, courage, and confidence. Um, a lot of times you have a significant anxiety about making that initial incision and then having, you know, blood especially kind of pour into the operating field. So if we can go over the steps to a surgery as many times as we can in here and get them comfortable with it, then when we're actually doing these procedures on live patients, they have a real benefit. The team behind Chloe was recognized in 2011 when a U.S. patent for a surgical simulator system was awarded to the group of ETSU colleagues. She's now on sale starting in January of this year, so she's actually international and hopefully will do well internationally. It only seems appropriate to call Chloe Dr. Olson's baby, and he is already proud of her. The most exciting part is that there are people out there that I will never meet whose lives may be saved because of what we did here. Chloe will be used in teaching facilities all around the world, and she got her start right here at our very own ETSU. In Johnson City, Ashton Bishop, 19 News.